Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of the latest gaming news as of the 2nd of July. This time I've got yet more news about Darkspawn. Now you may remember just yesterday that I did a video on how that Darkspawn has experienced login and connection issues since its launch back in 2011 with error code 7300. Um, causing server access problems and error code 3 that's also had similar problems for the, this particular game and basically it was actually removed from Steam because of these issues and this was just yesterday that Valve removed it and EA was quoted by saying that the, the likelihood of this issue being fixed is now zero but it seems like maybe they were exaggerating just a little bit because they have now stated on the game's official forum that the issue has been resolved and they had this to say we recently resolved an issue that was causing some players to not be able to connect to the game if you encounter any other issues please contact help.ea.com for customer support we will continue to support Darkspawn, so feel free to continue to discuss the game here. Now, one thing that's a bit odd is this does seem a bit well-timed. I mean, literally just yesterday they were saying how, oh, you know, this, this is never going to get fixed. The likelihood of this happening is basically zero. And now all of a sudden, next day after it gets removed from Steam, it is now suddenly resolved. And I don't know what's actually changed in the last, say, I don't know, two or three hours, and they were quoted, as I said, going, error has gone unfixed, likelihood of it being fixed is zero. But now, magically, after it's been removed from Steam, well, it's been fixed. I'm not sure what to make of that, to be honest. Maybe they realise, oh crap, this game's been removed from Steam, we, we better try and pull our finger out and actually fix it, because we're going to lose a lot of money from this if people can't access Steam. Or you could even be even more cynical and say that, well, they were just waiting for it to be pulled from Steam and now it's an Origin exclusive and now they've fixed it. So anyone who wants to play the game, well, they have to do it through their Origin service. Obviously, these are both kind of conspiracy theory-esque th theories going on, but to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if the first one I said is actually true because... Let's face it, Steam is pretty much dominant in the PC market, and if your game is not on Steam, your sales are impacted. It's as simple as that. There's no two ways around it. Whether you like the service or not is irrelevant. Most people do. A lot of PC gamers do. And if you don't have your game on their service, then some people will not play it because it's not on Steam. Personally, Myself, I'm not bothered about using another site or service or what have you to play a game that I really want to play. It doesn't really bother me. But some people just won't. Or they'll be too much effort and, and they'll begrudge having to not to play it because it's not on Steam. It's not just there for them to have on their list or whatever. So it does affect your sales. And I, I would have imagined that a lot of the people who had been affected by these issues would have left the game as well. So obviously a game that's obviously a few years old now is pretty much living on its multiplayer and with all of these issues and then combined with being pulled from Steam, they would have lost a lot of people from it. So I would argue that that's more likely than them trying to basically use this as an opportunity to get it pulled from Steam and then have it be an Origin exclusive. If they wanted that, they could have just said to Valve, look, take it down, we want to make it an Origin exclusive now. And, you know, it's EA's game at the end of the day, and they can do that. So I doubt that that second reason is true, but I would not be surprised if the first one actually is. I'd be curious to see your guys' thoughts on this. What do you think the true reasons are behind this, and which of my conspiracy theories there do you think is most likely? Personally, the second one was just pure speculation. I don't really believe that, that they, they would do that. It seems a bit silly, unnecessarily convoluted and all that. They don't really need to go to that much effort, but maybe you disagree. I'd be curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Anyway, that's been done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.